Okay, so it's about time for the uh, for the horde to start. Day 42. Grab my bike because it's after 1800. Um, well, actually, I think it's 2000, but you know whatever. I'm gonna go over to the horde base and make sure that all the last minute adjustments are taken care of and everything. Um, day 35 was a sleeper. I recorded it, but I don't even think it's worth posting. It was so boring. Um, it seemed like there were less zombies and just less action in general than even my seven day horde. So, um, I didn't even, didn't even have any trouble. I was actually standing out on my platform the entire time. Uh, so here's the horde base. Um, little trench there, so if I knock them off, they have a little bit further to fall and they have to come back up and around. Um, no real whole point to it, just I kind of like it. Um, trench right there as well. It kind of separates everything, uh, makes it to where they, they don't beat on this structure as much, which is, you know, where I kind of reside. Um, got a hatch frame right, or hatch, vault hatch right there. It's kind of my sight line down to this area. <laughs> Um, so that uh, when you know when the zombies are coming up and I don't have anybody sitting up there, I just knock them off um, with my sniper. Uh, got the coil sniper um, right before the day 35 horde, which was really cool. Um, but uh, since then, I got the hunter mastery, so now I've got the level 71 snipe coil sniper. So it's all it's all good. So right now I've got. Sniper and Sniper is my backup. Um, everything kind of stainless on the stairs, stainless steel on the stairway. Uh, this is the important part, so I don't want this to break. Um, here's my entrance. This is actually titanium after day 35. I went, uh, finally got 100% radiation resistance and went to the wastelands and got me some, some titanium. So... those. Um, I put these new bars in right here just uh, because zombies occasionally will jump on each other and stack and then jump up on top which you know not a huge deal my turrets actually kind of deal with that or my turret. Uh, I've got the one SMG auto turret right here which okay is still good on ammo. Um, it takes care of vultures and stuff like that that come around. Uh, it's pointed up at the sky. Um, it's pretty good for taking care of those. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is where this is where I sit. I pop that up um, to keep people from coming in, and I smack them around. Um, open these up so I have sight lines down there, so I can shoot. Bop, 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 bop. Shoot down there. Bop, 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 bop. So as people are coming up, I can I can shoot. No. Random zombies. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's uh, the, the double bars here. Uh, it gets a little claustrophobic if I concentrate on the bars, but uh, otherwise it protects me from you know the vultures try to get through the bars. You know if they wind up getting through a set of bars, I don't want them you know hitting my head. So since they're bars, it also allows me to shoot up if uh, if the turret's not actually hitting them. So if they're low on this side or something like that, the turret won't target them. So I can I can shoot them if I need to. Uh, this is my bar loadout right here uh, for the for the horde night. So I got my first aid kits. Um, finally, finally got the ability to make first aid kits, which was nice. Um, so I got uh, all my healing stuff there. Uh, got some moonshine because you know what the hell, it just makes the horde night funner. Um, some recog for for shooting. Uh, got a turret here. Now last horde night, everybody, I put the turret on this side and everybody came from that side. This time I'm going to put it on this side and see if they come from this side this time. Um, but basically the turret just, they, they pop up here, they, they, they hop up and the turret smacks them down. Um, so it just uh, slows them down and everything so that way um, I'm not killing too fast and increasing my game stage before I you know, get to the the good stuff and get done enough trader quests and stuff like that in to be able to get the, the laser workbench and everything I need for the laser age. 
Um, the last thing I want to do is, uh, like, uh, me and my wife are playing another game, and we didn't do the trader quest right off. We just, we, we amped up building, and we killed lots of zombies, and the Horde Knights were just a zombie fest, and we just killed, 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 and... I, our game stage wound up getting so high that we had lots of demons in every POI that we were going to and we didn't have any kind of laser weapons or any way to prevent the demons from regening. So it was a little hectic. But uh, but this this prevents the zombies from, um, from piling up too much on me. Uh, so it protects my health for one, um, makes sure that I don't have too much at a time and it slows down the flow so that way I'm not just killing everything. If I do want to just kill everything, I can just whip out the coil sniper and bop, 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 and just kill everything I need to down there. And, and it does a really good job, but I prefer to let them come, um, keep, this, keep the flow slow, nice and even, and you know, everything's cool. Now these hatches do have one drawback, is that, whoop, is that if I could jump um, spider zombies, when they try to jump at you when the hatches are open, they can sit on top of the hatch. Now it doesn't, it's not a big deal, they don't do anything, they just kind of sit here and make noise. Um, and you know, generally they'll jump back over here or something like that, but it, it can, it can be, it can be a little scary at first when, uh, when they first start jumping on there and they're making noise and everything. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is, this horde, this horde base, uh, you know, it started off as cobblestone. Uh, I didn't have this thing in the beginning. Um, this is really just to keep the cops from seeing me from a distance and to kind of provide a backstop. Um, so when I slam the zombies off, you know, they'll, they'll hit that and slide down into the, into the pit there instead of landing over there or something. But, uh. Yeah, this all started out uh, without these trenches. Um, my first couple of Horde Knights didn't have the trenches. Um, wow, that's still not dry. Um, but yeah, the first couple of Horde Knights didn't have these trenches and um, didn't have the stairs, obviously. It was just flat ground, just these stairs. And I didn't even have a four wide base here. I had a two wide base. This was a lot shallower over here. I didn't have the, the generator there, obviously, or the hatches. The hatches I actually added after the day 35 horde, um, just so that you know if I needed to speed up the flow of the horde, I could. Oh, and there's the horde. Oh, there they, here they come. Oh, cool, they're coming from the other side. All right. <laughs> the spider zombie flies by. <laughs> And that'll be a common thing. The spider zombies will just fly right on by. That almost hit me. And I've got uh, a titanium reinforced club now, and mostly titanium armor. Well, actually, all titanium armor. Mostly titanium tools and stuff like that. Um. Just in case. Oh, hello. And the spider zombies are kind of a pain because you have to wait for them to put their head through. She's tough. I like them tough, especially when they drop generic schematics on them. I love it when they do that jump swat thing. Really nimble zombies. Ooh, dude's neck turned around. Oh, the flow seems kind of slow, like the day 35 board so far. Ow. Oh. oh, 
Night Stalkers are so creeper. Creepy. Suffer. This is what it looks like, just uh, kind of keeping an eye down there, making sure nobody's beating on anything important. That's what I mean about the vultures staying low on that one side. Sometimes you just have to look up and just kill them. Uh, shoot them. Ow, oh, she didn't drop anything. Okay. Huh, that turret's not doing anything. Why is that turret not doing anything? I just did with that turret is generally a no-no. You don't want to do that. Um, I'm wondering now if I grab the wrong turret. That should be a sledge turret. But maybe it's an... Oh, you know what? It actually looks like... Oh, crap. Yeah, I got to <laughs> grab the wrong turret. Alright, so we're going to go without uh, the sledge turret. This round. That was stupid. Well, sometimes seven days to die is about overcoming your own stupidity. Where you going? Speaking of stupidity, I don't know what the deal is with the AI on the tourists, man. They are just the dopiest guys. Moonshine time. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's looking good. Oh, wow. Make quick work of that cop. <laughs> this is trippy. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, hello. Ow. Oh, some chili dogs. Apparently, that moonshine made me hungry. Moonshine is great, it gives you like a bunch of melee damage. Damage regeneration or damage uh, mitigation and stamina regeneration and everything else. Hmm. I missed her. Hey. Oh boy. Just keep your head right there, dude. Oh, hey. Whoa. Okay, that was my first demolisher in a horde. Kind of expected those on day 35, but I didn't get any because it was a really slow horde for some reason. Hey, no reach. Put your hands to yourselves. Crap. 
Oh, hello, Screamer. Yeah, see, I didn't get any Screamers the last Horde either. Which is weird, I usually get lots of Screamers every single Horde. Of course, maybe it's partially because I'm using... Is that a Spitting Vulture? Oh! Jeez, man. I'm just, like, losing it this Horde night. Didn't turn on my turrets. Oh, hello. No, no, no. You, you stay out. There we go. Level up. Those bikers are just tough. Love the coil sniper, it is so good. Oh. Not that I don't appreciate that. But hey. Oh boy. Oh. Almost screwed that up. There we go. And the NICAD mod. Ooh, we got, we got bears. There we go. Now the turrets are going. Oh! That was bad. That's the problem with trying to get cocky and getting all the loot and everything. But sometimes. Okay, where's the... Where's that guy? You know, the, the radiated tourists especially are stupid. Those guys, man, they'll just sit around down there forever and just beat on blocks. Hey, there we go. Ooh. Wasn't paying attention to this, man. They did a lot of damage to that thing. Hey, stop that. <laughs> Ooh. Hate those radiated dogs. Ow. Gotta make sure you kill those because they'll just blow up and wreck everything. Not as much as a demolisher will, of course, but man, they do some damage. Ow! Please stop that. That makes quick work of those bears. Man, you put the the full auto trigger on this with the rod and spring replacement and the silencer, and oh my god, it is just awesome. Hey, get your head off of my. There we go. Keep your head off. Of me. Oh, hello. Oh, thanks for pushing that loot in for me. That was awesome. Helpful dogs. Ow! Dogs go flying like that. Is that a that bear can't get up? Who 
use your head. Oh! Shit, you! Uh oh. I think that dog's gonna blow up down there. Yep, he blew up. still down there? Oh, there's two of them. Whoa. Stalkers this time. I'm definitely getting. Oh shit. He's gonna blow up. Definitely getting more zombies than day 35, but still doesn't. Doesn't seem like it's a whole lot. Alright, chill out there, dude. Does he die? I don't know if he did. Oh, oh well. Oh. Turret is still not doing anything. It's not even targeting those guys. It doesn't. It just doesn't tur target certain mobs that are like new for Darkness Falls. Oh, what else can I get? Can I get rid of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, get rid of those. I did it. Morning. No, that turret's just not hitting anything. <laughs> Dead bird. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Got lots of loot. Oh. Okay. That guy's dead. And everything else. Okay, no bears down here waiting on me. 
No, looks like we're good. All right, well, that was the David 42 Horde. Talk to you guys later.